Hey, YouTube. It is Friday, May the 19th. Pretty early in the morning, packing up to head to the coast this weekend. But I wanted to throw a video together to show you guys my latest acquisition. Yeah, I know. I usually don't do the ready to run thing, but I couldn't pass this one up. <laughs> That's a Losi uh, 1968 F100. Uh, no prep drag truck. I think it's built on the low C22 chassis. I'm not sure. Don't know a whole heck of a lot about it. Uh, all I know is it was a damn deal. This rig out of the box, uh, ready to run, the way it sits, was $199. I could not pass it up. But what a killer, killer rig this is, man. This is a, this thing is just, it, the cool factor is pretty much why I bought this truck. Uh, that and the fact that it was such a deal for what it's got in it. But, man, talk about a freaking sick-looking body. Now, I'm not a Ford guy, but that is a that is just a stupid, awesome-looking body. Um, wow. <laughs> it's, it's thicker than a standard, like, body that you buy and put on something it's just it's it's pretty soft it's pretty rigid uh the only thing i don't like i'm kind of on the fence about the low c sticker on the doors i may wind up and pull that off um i just think it kind of takes away from that slick black paint man but wow awesome rig out of the box now the radio is kind of bare bones um standard pistol grip with all the trims and it took me forever to find the damn on off button I, there well shoot my lighting right there's on off and I, I kept going by it so i better not take up snake hunting because uh, i'll get my tail eat up but yeah so right there is the power selector 50 percent 75 percent or 100 percent now I haven't run this thing. I have basically just taken it out of the box, put a battery in it, powered it up uh, just to test to make sure everything was working. So the steering's great. You know, throttle response just sitting here is is pretty touchy. Um, I'm looking forward to getting it out and actually doing some running with it, trying to dial it in, trim it out, and you know just get some get some trigger time. Uh, not going to get into this whole no prep thing as deep as some people do. There's just a handful of guys that, that I run with, you know, five, six, seven, eight people, uh, kind of like a club setting that may get together at an old abandoned parking lot in town and do a little bit of running, just older fellas like myself, but such a cool piece to have. Now, <clears throat> The front lights on this thing are wired, so you do get headlights in that awesome grill. The bumper on it also is a solid piece that is actually bolted to the body. Um, it does not have rear tail lights. The only thing back here is a decal, and I'm hoping that my lighting will pick it up. But yeah, they're just decals. I don't know if there's an option part to add tail lights to it i don't see the reason to even have tail lights or the headlights honestly because i don't plan on running this thing at night but at least it does have that for for an added cool factor but the killer stuff is under the body so let's pull this body off and kind of see what the heck we've got going on because man this is one solid rig with the body off you get down to the brass tacks of it all man this thing is whoa it, it's incredible i was told i'm not sure i need to do some reading on it the spectrum esc from what i have heard is 100 amp now uh i'm not well versed in this whole spectrum smart mess but i can tell you that the wiring on this thing is huge lunges <laughs> uh ESC has a fan on it. Not that that's some big thing, but the the thing that really was a selling point is a 6,500 kV brushless motor. That is, as long as I've been in this hobby, I've never 
seen personally, I've never seen a rig ready to run with that kind of a motor system in it for under 200 bucks. I know 199 bucks is not, it's just barely under, but still for under 200 bucks with all of that power is just unheard of, or, or I've not seen anything like it. The steering servo up front, metal cased, uh, seems to be digital, very, very surgical reaction. I mean, it's not, not real. It's not sloppy at all. Um, very glassy, really smooth operation on that. Uh, the rear end, <laughs> what can I say? I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, steel drive shafts, you know, out of the bo out of the box from the factory. No more buying MIP shafts for a slash or or any other platform. This thing is cock locked and ready to rock. Uh, the wheelie bar. Fully adjustable. It's got several adjustment points here on this mount, and then it's a turnbuckle setup, so you can really dial it in. There are some limiters on these back shocks, which is surprising because that that is all the travel you have on these shocks. On the you know you standard looks like standard short course truck shocks, but not a whole lot of travel on them, which I don't think you would want it on a drag truck the front end's got plenty plenty of compression the rebound on it is fairly quick i think i can tighten it up rebound wise um not that i need to but if i have to i may be able to um god i don't know what else to say about this thing these slicks on the back are you can tell it ain't been run still got the seam on them um i've just turned it on and just Hit the throttle a couple of times to see how it is. Now this mount for the battery is pretty slick. This is just like a rubber band style mount. It's really, you see, it's it's really pliable. You can that, that that's just that's a neat thing rather than a battery strap. I just hope it'll last for a good while. And from what I understand, these two holes here, as you see, there's right in front of my finger there, and then there's one on the other side. Um, you from what I'm seeing, you can actually adjust this battery tray up. I guess to take a longer pack, 3S pack or whatever. Um, I know from what I've been reading and everything that this no prep drag racing only allows you to run a 2S, but the but the truck is definitely capable of running a 3S. Uh, I don't I don't know that I will, but the options there. But yeah, killer piece, man. Full as you as you would expect, full bearings all the way throughout. Um. It will accept, from what I understand, the other, like the Camaro bodies, but I believe the side braces here on the truck are just like a half inch wider than the ones for the Camaro. So in order to swap it to the Camaro body, you would have to change these you know, side braces on each side, and then you could put that body on. Um, which brings me to this. The truck body that's right there, I, I it's an absolutely gorgeous piece, but I'm just not a Ford guy. So I may, um, I may run it. I may not. There's a couple of other bodies that I'm interested in. One of them, I don't want to disclose, but let's just say that I'm a four. I'm not a Ford guy. I'm a Mopar guy. So I'm looking at that pretty hard. And if I do wind up doing it, I'll have to change those obviously. But, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep posting on this thing, but, um, but yeah, there's, there's going to be a few little subtle changes. I'm going to run the wheels and the tires on it, you know, until they completely wear out. Then I'll change the rims and which, I mean, those aren't bad to be stock pieces, but, um, uh, yeah, I could see having some fun with it. It's not getting crazy deep in it, but still having a lot of fun and enjoying it. But just wanted to show you guys what we had. And, uh, <laughs> all I can say is, holy cow, for 200 bucks, you know, I, these things i believe they're going to get scarce pretty quick there it is man i can't believe i've got another no prep drag truck um started building one back in 2020 i had bought a kit from chuck works uh chuck if you see this man how you doing anyway uh a chuck works chassis carbon composite i believe that's material was it wasn't carbon fiber but a composite material um the whole thing put a Slash, I believe it was a 727 transmission in it. Had a 
set it up to where it was pulling posi all the time, which is not hard to do. You don't need to buy all those you know, those extra parts to make a posi unit for it. So stupid easy. Um, slicks on the back, front runners out front. With the right arms on the back, there's banded arms under the back end to bring the tires in to make it look right. And uh, had a 66 Chevrolet body on it with the wing on the back. Never put any paint on it. Never got a, any electronics in it other than the steering servo. And was posting, you know, progress pictures of it. And a guy sent me a message and wanted to know if I wanted to sell it. And I was like, well, I really don't want to. I want to finish the truck. And he made me an offer. It was kind of, it was way more than what I had in it. So I was like, well, if you want it that bad, man, I'll send it to you. So I sold it, didn't lose any money on the truck. And ever since then, it's kind of been like a double-edged sword. I kind of hate that I did um, because it was really looking, it was looking pretty solid, you know. But, um, and I believe I've got pictures of it on the Instagram page of, but the progress I was doing, I think if not, I'll put some up there, but, uh, but yeah, sold it, kind of hated it. it. You know, the buzz kind of died down at the hobby shop. Now it's coming back. Uh, just, there's a, there's just a few of us older fellas, you know, and when I say older, I say, you know, thir late thirties and up, you know, we get together, not trying to beat each other's rigs up and just get out and have some fun. No, no money, no, nothing just bragging rights and just to get out and have some good camaraderie and enjoy the hobby you know and so that's the whole reason i bought it that and the fact that the damn thing is only 199 bucks i may go back and buy another one um <laughs> my thinking is i may go back and buy another one and part it out because the bodies on these things this this ford body is like i can't believe they're getting the money they're getting for them online then you factor in the 6,500 KV uh, motor system for that $199 price point. It, I could take that out and put it in, in the Rift or put it in the SMT 10, you know, and then take the body, sell it off, take the chassis, sell it off and be, and, and never lose money on this truck. Never lose money. I think the roller, just a roller for this truck, or for this platform, this drag platform is like $129. So if you did that, you're not losing any money. And you actually wind up with a bonus, you know, system to use somewhere else. So I'm, I'm kicking that idea around, but I don't know for sure. But at any rate, I wanted to show you guys that, you know, there it is right there. Haven't run it. Looking forward to it. Get some trigger time. I'm going to try to, I'll do my damn best to get uh, some practice video and because i'm no good I, I guarantee you i'm so used to going to the left as far as dirt oval uh that going straight is going to be a job <laughs> proficiently going straight is going to be a job but uh, i'm looking forward to the challenge so i hope you'll stick around for the ride uh thanks for taking a look uh if you've got any tips or tricks that i need to know please put them down in the comments because i can use all the info that i can get right now um Again, thanks for stopping by. Hope you'll consider like uh, a, a comment all you want, man. I love interacting with people. Just nobody ever comments. And uh, and consider subscribing, man, because I, I genuinely just love this hobby and love sharing it with all that I can share it with. I'm not looking any kind of monetization. That stuff don't matter to me. So it's just, it's just about enjoying this hobby. So. Take good care of yourselves. I got to get everything packed up and get it in the truck so we can head to the coast and uh, enjoy your weekend. And we will see you real soon on the next video. Until then, later, tater.